Good afternoon, everybody, on this rainy November 5th day. Happy birthday to my youngest grandson, by the way, Calvin's five. Um, I wanted to do a video uh, just to give an update. I've had some people reaching out. Um, I, re I need to return some phone calls and respond. I feel bad. I've relapsed a little bit. Um, and just have kind of gone underground trying to deal with with some of that i feel better today but having a lot of a lot of problems with my stomach uh uncontrollable nausea has been key in that it's been horrible um but today i feel much better i don't even have any nausea so maybe i'm getting better but last night was bad um back to the cardiac issues heart rate well up over 100 and blood pressure up um low grade fever, feeling really flushed. I don't I don't know what the deal was, but um I'm compelled to do this video for a couple of reasons. One is if you have a lot of stress in your life and you're battling Lyme disease, you need to figure out what those stressors are and you need to get rid of them. You need to take the garbage out. I don't care if that is a love interest, um, a friend, a family member, a job, um, whatever it is. If, if it's something that you can rid yourself of, you need to do that. You need, you need to remove that situation or that person from your life. Um, I, I think there's been some certain stressors that have been occurring in my life that have kept me a little sick, but based on some things that have gone on here recently have made me really sick. So it was time to take out the garbage, garbage gone. Um, and, and the other thing I wanted to talk about too is just the unfortunate cost of what it is to get better and stay better. I've done the math, um, and I have a handout if anybody would like it. My herbalist uh, and I work together. Uh, she followed a lot of Buner's protocol for Lyme um, herbally, and so I have something typed up that shows what I take, where I bought it, um, the tinctures right now that I bought online from Mountain Rose Herbs she's making, and so I think mine will be ready in a couple of weeks. So. Those I I had to buy until until gems were done. So, um, but I'm willing to share that. Just letting you know, she based a lot of what she put together for me on my medical history. She knows it very well, and I am not responsible <laughs> if it contraindicates with something that you take. So, um, be aware of that. But if you want to get an idea of what I am doing and that's working. Um, a couple other things that I've done that have really helped, and I don't know if I can continue to afford to do them. Um, massage has been great. That's another $60 an hour. Uh, an energy worker. If you can find somebody that does Reiki, if you're open to that sort of thing, um, that's usually about $65 an hour. And um, I found a great chiropractor here locally but my insurance doesn't cover that. Uh, so he's $50 an hour and I've had neck and back surgery in the past. And, um, I really, I really need his help. <clears throat> so my brother who I love and adore, thank you so much, Dean, uh, just called me and said, don't worry about it. I'm going to, I'm going to help you with that. Cause he wants me to get to help, you know, cause he doesn't want me to be in pain. I'm getting choked up because I'm such a good brother. And what video would be complete without me crying? Um, but just out of gratitude. So I don't know how people get better if they don't have the money to do it. How do you how do you get better? It sure as hell isn't going it's not Western medicine. A, it doesn't work. You know, and B our doctor's knowledge of Lyme and how to treat it is so limited, especially if you have chronic Lyme and they don't even know how to test for the um, co-infections. So I just feel really bad. I feel, I, I, I don't, 
I don't know when things are going to change. I hope it's soon. But I'm paying, like I said, so if I'm paying like $400 a month for supplements um, and herbs, and then you add on the cost of, you know, I'd, I'd love to be going to the chiropractor to get, based on what I've had with my neck being fused and a disc in my back being completely uh, degenerated, I should be going twice a week. Um, we'd like to do 24 adjustments over the course of I don't know maybe three to four months or something like that so that you know so imagine so a hundred dollars a month there and then you add in massage and everything else I can't do it all I mean it's impossible and I'm on disability and they screwed uh, that up which was really great so that my check on Friday was short and it's only 66 percent of what you make so <clears throat> if you have a loved one that is trying to get better <laughs> the best thing you can do to help them is if they're saying yeah I, I want to go to this healer or this massage therapist or this herbalist or this whatever if you have the wherewithal then tell them you'll pay for it that's one less stressor right and one more thing to really help, because I'm telling you right now, if you're chronically ill with this stuff, the antibiotics aren't going to, it's not going to cut it. You're wasting your time. You're wasting your time going to, um, I think you're wasting your time going to uh, infectious disease because they're regulated by somebody called the IDSA. And the IDSA is part of the CDC. And they're all a bunch of assholes that just don't really care that we're sick and not getting better. So, um, that's that. And if you hear this crunching in the background, that's my pit bull chewing on a bone. My bad. Um, so that's that for the day. Um, I'm hoping to go back to work within the next few weeks. Uh, stay tuned for that. But, uh, if anybody would like any additional information from me, please let me, please let me know, reach out and I will help you any way that I can. And if you're fighting, keep fighting. You're going to have bad days. You're going to have setbacks. Take the trash out. Get rid of the stress. And um, keep fighting. Okay. Have a good day, everybody.